Good morning. It's July the 3rd, 2013. My name is Mia Tanya. This is about my mother. It has nothing to do really with me, but probably everything there is about me because of my mother and my father. Today is my mother's 51st anniversary as an American citizen. She came over from England. My mother was born in a place that was kind of really a, um, it was beautiful. Still is. Um, stories, you know, that Sherlock Holmes, the Baskerville Hounds, uh, and the Moors, and what have you. Well, that's all in that area. You know, the cache that National Geographic found of the, uh, Rome, you know, the biggest Roman uh, cache of armor. It's all in Grandma's backyard, and that's kind of the country she came from. She was alive during World War II. She remembers the stuff. They were up north. Not really a lot happened, but when it did, it really got exciting. Um, different stories that woman had of that country. <clears throat> My dad went over to uh, uh, where she's from is Ipstones. It's out in Stoke-on-Trent, a place out in Staffordshire. That's in England. I'm, I'm from England too, so I'm American and I'm British. So, well, actually I'm English because anybody can be British. The only way you can be English you have to be born there, and I was. So, I'm half English. And I'm American mutt. <laughs> I love it. So, Dad went over there, and they married. And they married there in London. Dad worked for NATO. They had me, and he came over to America. Um, Mom, Mom had a story, before I tell you what it's about. Mom had a story. When she got into America, this is how language is for the English language. For people from England, <laughs> the English language, it's funny. Uh, no, you guys here in America, you speak American. Uh, no, that's one. Because I made a mistake one day and I asked my mother. I couldn't understand anything she was saying. And I said, Mom, speak English to me. And I got my butt kicked. And don't ever say to an English lady, speak English. Because she was being quite clear. I just needed to wake up a bit <laughs> and understand that, oh yeah, there's the Queen English, there's American. Oh my gosh, I'm in the middle and I'm in trouble. <laughs> That's okay. I learned. I did. I love my mom. So they, um, they moved to Long Beach with me and dad went out to sea. And mom, well, here's mom. She's got this crazy yelling kid. Oh gosh, it's hotter than heck in Long Beach, California back in the 50s. Oh my lord. Oh, this poor girl. And she's blonde. She's a bombshell. Oh my my god, my mom's beautiful. I'll, I'll put some pictures of her, you know, of her up here. Um, and she, uh, <laughs> she had to go into this, uh, uh, the drugstore. And she wanted what would you say in America? A baby bottle. I've heard them all. Come on. Yeah, okay. Let's cut to the chase. So she looks at this poor American pharmacist, and she goes, I need a titty bottle. And the poor man, he didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, well, finally, they had to calm him down. <laughs> he lost it. Well, it's pretty funny. Uh, that's what they call it there, where mom's from. Well, you know, Yanks, they, they, they're all okay. You know, so they got them on that. Well, we're not going to go with the other indignities, but you can imagine that it was a clash of language when she came to America. A lot of people in the world have seen some stuff about my uncle Buck Compton. And that was my uncle. He's the one out of Band of Brothers, and yeah, okay. Well, when he was a judge... He, um, he took it on, because he kind of liked my mom, because he's my, uh, my uncle. <laughs> so, yeah, he definitely, uh, all right, what can we do for this, this Brit? So he taught her everything out of the book that they gave her to become an American citizen. Everything from front cover to back cover, spine, everything, 
everything there was. My mom had to know it all. That was that was Uncle Bob. <laughs> yeah, it, UCLA kind of makes you study a little hard sometimes, I guess. And I guess he must have liked my mom. She aced it. Fifty-one years ago today. President Obama, there are incredible people in America today. They all contribute to the cause. My mother's name is Sidonia Curran. She's 81 years old. 81. And she has 51 years as an American citizen. As of today. You guys really didn't do much for her on her 50th. Things are happening not that all that great for my mother right now. Sir, if you look at up my mom and my dad, you'll find out a little more about who they are and what incredible things they've done for my country and yours too. Please, sir. <laughs> you didn't do anything on her 50. 50 years of honorable service to this country, my mother did. Honorable service for this country, sir. A Navy wife. She stayed married to my father. My father died in my mother's arms at home. A Navy man. Honorable. I had to fold his flag for my mother on behalf of a grateful nation because no one showed up to do it for her, sir. So her, her kid had to do it. I did. Thirteen folds and a prayer. It's a good thing that your tax dollars taught me how to do that, but my parents instilled it in my heart forever. Okay. So, I hope that somebody can do something great for my mother. I, I'm trying. I'm learning about this, sir. That's where it came from, sir, was England. Remember Winston Churchill, sir? Maybe it's in my bloodline, maybe it's not. I think it is. Ah, and I'm learning about it, sir. I am. Remember what Led Zeppelin said? There's two, you know, there's two meanings to every sign. I want to keep it this way, sir, please. So, on behalf of my mother to this nation, thank you for allowing her the freedom. Mom, on behalf of a grateful nation. It's all I can do for you, Mom. Happy 51 years, Mom, of being a U.S. citizen. Thank you for teaching me this. Maybe you guys can get it too. Thank you. I love you all, America. Love you, Mom. Thank you. Yeah.